Hey guys, Midget here, and welcome to another episode of my Derby career mode. Here we are going to start. Well, no, we're not going to be playing this game against Charlton away. Uh, <laughs> John wants to make his debut. Sure, I'll give him his debut. He's a very talented youngster. Uh, I did overpay for him, though, don't you think? But again, that could have been a really, really good piece of business because 19 and 65 overall, that's somewhat spectacular. Uh, I'm going to be using my second team, but do I give Declan John his debut? See, Robertson isn't a uh, thingy, what, am I, my player, but then again, look at that, and it's so, oh, let's just do it, right, so, Declan John's going to get his debut, I wasn't planning on this, but whatever, may as well give our lad some game time, so, let's see what we pull. Out, I'm expecting nothing else but a bloody loss. Yeah, there we go, 1-0. Ninth minute, Church. 1-1, one, one. through Leon Best. Great goal, Best. I can just tell it was a good goal. Oh, God, that's deja vu. That's just deja vu. So there is our team. It's there at the bottom. Lee Grant, Cyrus Christie, Richard Keogh, Mark O'Brien, Craig Forsyth, George Thorne, Will Hughes, Craig Bryson, Patrick Coots. Uh, Chris Martin and Jordan Ive, and there's the Rotherham team. Cr drill the ball in. What? Drill it! Oh my goodness, that was so close. Wow. It's Mark O'Brien, the one and only. Passed it through to Chris Martin. He has to pull it back through to Craig Bryson. Through to Jordan Ive! It was offside anyway, but wow. Pringle. He whips in across. Lee Grant gets there. Good lad. Ooh. Martin to Bryson. Through to Jordan Ibe. Jordan skips past one. Gets past the other. With a little bit of trickery. Jordan Ibe, can he go all the way? Oh, God. Ah. Oh. So there are the half-time stats, guys. As you can probably see, we're getting dominated in possession like we did against Middlesbrough. But there is no chances. And I don't know if I've even edited any chances. And there's only one shot, which is from Jordan Ibe, which was offside. Um, so I might see that in the replay. But nevertheless, that's the only... That's the details for the first half. Bit of pressure. Bit of pressure. Rudy Gasteed. Rudy Gasteed. Oh, what a mistake from Rotherham. Rudy Gasteed, third substitute appearance, and puts us 1-0 up for his third goal of the season. Wow, what a mistake that was from Rotherham. Rudy Gasteed, I thought it would have gone wide because of the new physics and mechanics and all that, but Rudy Gasteed... Loach, I don't know what Loach was doing, but Rudy Gasteed puts us 1-0 up. And, yes, simple as that. <laughs> Gasteed, go on, lad. Mistake from Rotherham. Will I be greedy? No, I will not. Ibe, he doubles the lead. Jordan Ibe, I'm a sweaty cunt, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, he could have got his fourth goal, Gasteed, but... He decided to pass it through to Ibe, who has been one of the, ma the man of the match, but lovely goal from Ibe, and 2-0 Derby. So the game ended like that, guys, 2-0 to Derby, uh, Rotherham, uh, five shots to two, and two, both two on target, and that's how the game ended, so yeah. I will also like to give my votes here, and I want to give... Three votes to Jordan I because I thought he was absolutely sensational today. He, he got us off the mark. He gave us pace into the game. Two votes for Paul Coots. Um, not Patrick Coots. Yeah, Paul Coots. And one vote for Jeff Hendricks because once he came on, he had a bit of stability. He was always in there in defence. And he always played us out from the back. So, yes, there are three votes for today. And let's go on to the next game. So, this is how the table looks at the moment. We're first. Nine goals scored. Four victories and zero losses and zero goals conceded with the only team to not concede a goal. In second place is Sheffield Wednesday and in third, the scum of the earth, Nottingham Forest and Leeds sitting all the way down in 18th. Meanwhile, our top goal scorer is Rudy Gasteed with three goals. Top overall goal, goal scorer is Hugo Rodiega with five. Martin, so, oh God, it's Mark O'Brien is 19th. Top goal scorer. <laughs> oh, O'Brien, lovely tackle. Lovely tackle, Will Hughes. So far, one of the players of the year for Derby County. He's played in Rudy Gasteed. Rudy, Rudy. Oh, ref, that's a red. 
That is a red. Ref, he was last man. That is surely a red. No foul. Come on. I mean, no card. He was last man. Uh. Jamie Ward going to be taking the free kick, lads. Can it go in? Oh, it's just gone wide. Let's go. It's gone. Not in. Oh. Robertson. He plays it through to Bryso. Bryso finds Rudy. Rudy. Rudy puts it in. And it's another goal for Rudy Gasteed. What a player he has been. Oh, God. That is a great goal by Rudy Gasteed. I thought that would have gone miles wide. But brilliant link up play from Robertson, Bryson, and Gasteed. They're like the big three. Look at them. And that's how the game is looking so far. Rudy Gasteed in the 45th minute has scored six shots to us, one to Wolves, and we're playing on world class. So I think I'm slightly improving. No, and there it is. I did jinx it in the end. Jesus Christ, knew a dicko. Scores the first goal against us. He can be very proud of that. We did very well. I, I, can't, I don't know how many goals that, that... I mean, I don't know how many games that was right now, but... Yeah. It was an achievement, nevertheless. So, yeah. No! What a lovely ball that is! What a goal! Oh, God! Wow, the captain of Wolverhampton. Wow. And the floodgates are really open, you know, conceded one and conceded another straight away. Not great, but we got it. We had to concede sometime, and yeah, it's now, but look at that. And defending was woeful, but that ball from Bakary Saka was spectacular. Rudy Gasteed out, out to the wing. Ibe. Plays a ball in for Hughes, which goes to Bryson. It's a penalty in the that. Oh, God. It's a penalty in the last minute. Goldburn, the guy I absolutely hate, has conceded a penalty for Wolverhampton. Stutter. And he's done it! It's Jamie Ward! Oh god, thank you. That was the longest penalty decision ever. In the end, Jamie Ward secures us the draw, or at least I think it secures us the draw. That's how the game ended. In the last in the second half I got absolutely bummed by Wolverhampton. Like I bummed Wolverhampton in the first half, it came back to me. In the second, I have now conceded two. So here are the player ratings guys I want to give my votes now I want to give three votes to Craig Bryson he was an all-round very good player two to Rudy Gasteed for scoring the goal and being a very nice hold-up player and one to Andrew Robertson who played a part in the first goal and was is the best fullback I have right now it, not in terms of overall he just plays really well so there are my three ratings and yeah, uh, that's basically it. So this is the team I'm going to be going with for the Norwich City game. You might be like, Cyrus Christie, to Jamie Ward, to Cyrus, to Hughes, to Cyrus, to Thorne. Oh, what a goal by George Thorne. Top right corner, out of the box. That is goal of the season contender. Look at that. Boom! That's around 22 yards, and what a strike that is to put us 1-0 up against Norwich City and George Stone's first goal of the season. Half-time stats, we are winning very, uh, it's very simple, you know, we had we didn't have any problems. The goal was kind of a lucky, lucky goal, you know. We are bumming them, let's say again, but again, we were bumming... Wolves and it didn't end so well so touch wood it's gonna be a hard game. Oh go on Russell. 
Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Russell. Johnny, 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 Johnny Russell. Johnny Russell! <laughs> what a goal by Johnny Russell. Solo. Not the most beautiful of goals. Not a lot of skills, just a couple of roulettes. Simple as. Curls one into the far corner. Ah! Bassong, the centre back. Oh god. The French centre back, Sebastian Bassong, has scored somehow. Oh no. Let's just. So the game ends pretty equal. You know, we, we had a, a minus 12 pace possession. I mean, not pace, possession. Uh, percentage 11 shots to 9 for us, 7 shots on target to their 4, and we won the game 2 1. So, for the ratings, I want to give 3 to Johnny Russell as I think he was absolutely incredible in this game. Uh, I don't know, I don't know because I didn't really think anyone had a good game. I mean, not that anyone didn't have a good game, I just didn't think anyone so. So, 3 to Johnny Russell. I'm going to give 2 to George Thorne for that one wonderful, spectacular strike. And I'm going to give one to Mark O'Brien because he was an absolute rock at the back. He saved us in a couple of situations. So, yeah, there are our three votes. And, yes. Um, Ryan's shot on loan has been expired. So, it's only a short loan, I guess. Uh, it's expired. So, we have, like... Well, he's gone back to Stoke City, it looks like. Yeah. Andrew Robertson, meanwhile, is thanking us for playing and... Robertson, if you want to play, I will sign you next season or in the January transfer window if you want. I can sign you and you can play like this every week in, week out because you're by far my best centre back and my best uh, player. But yeah, guys, and yeah, this is Midget, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.